Okay, this is our last submission uh, of our top 10. Daniel underscore Forsgren underscore O2 MP4. Audio up for the first listen. Let's do it to it. <laughs> is there a, okay, sorry. Somebody just asked, is there a rat emote someday? someday. We'll get there. We'll get anyway, there. Anyway, ball boy. Who wants to talk about ball boy? Well, I guess I can mention a little bit. One thing that I liked a lot about it was just the, um, in a weird way, like the one thing that sticks out was just this little moment where, where like he spins around on his, uh, his upper body spins around, like independent of the legs. I always just like treating robots like robots and taking advantage of those types of things and how they do stuff. So I really appreciate that because you could just treat them like a, like a pudgy character and just animate them like normal, but that's very specific. And I like that. Um, this is another one I think we talked about where like just the presentation was just really solid. Like it feels really integrated, all of the effects, um, the background, uh, the rendering and everything it's just it's very cohesive um yeah and just really tightly well animated i think if i had to say something for me it would just be kind of some of these motions are maybe a little um as i'm watching it this time feel maybe a little bit separated in terms of like he rolls in and then he does kind of like this sort of stretch suddenly um which i it's it's not I don't have a problem with the motion, but it just feels like like it's a little bit disconnected from what he just did, and then a little bit disconnected from what he just does right after. Um, because he seems like I don't know. It could be. I mean, it could actually be a little bit of a storytelling. Maybe this guy when he's he's rolled up in a ball for a long time for most of his life, and then when he finally gets to not be a ball, that that's when he maybe that's why he's stretching. So there could be something to that that maybe I'm missing. I was in um, a stretch. I if thought he was like going like ah, like yeah. screaming, kind of like. Oh. Ah. oh wait, am I not? His I mean, maybe no, I don't like Stretch frame. I wait, what's, it the, like a, what's the audio doing? It's just Toonskis. Yeah, I didn't see it as a yawn. I thought it was like a let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It almost feels. Yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's part of the thing. Is that it feels like it's? I'm reading a little bit like a stretch without the audio or without anything. Um, I feel like almost. I almost want. I, I don't know. I guess. And then he goes into the gun, which is really great. But but I, I wonder that this moment is really what, it, what it's doing for like the storytelling. But yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying though about the motions feeling a little disconnected, just because he like comes in and like this cool slide pose, and then he hits sort of like this middle and then comes out. Where I feel like there'd be a way to make it feel a little bit smoother is as he's sliding, like he knows he's gonna scream at the end of that. So if like during this pose. Maybe his arms are already out and to the side, like he's going to swoop up and like even maybe bending down as he's coming a little bit closer mm. to the end here. Does he have little fingers? He does kind of, right? Um, So like this motion, maybe it's like a, a swoop. Yeah, flows into a, a swoop up rather than coming into his body. It's more like a coming out of that into the celebration. I feel like it's this coming into before exploding out again, when he's already kind of a place where his arms could be out and then coming up into that motion would make it feel a little bit more connected. When if you kind of contrast that with like this, like there's a really good version of that in here too, which is like this hit, you know, it's like the hit bounce up, and the bounce up is like the anticipation for the next action. So it just feels so fluid and, you know, like he's already planning the next action before he even hit the ground. Uh, and that's kind of what's missing from this is that feeling that he like intended to do that thing next. Uh, whereas here it's like, even on his down pose here, he's like already getting ready for the next thing he's going to do which is really cool. And th th this, this feels like it flows really well together in a really interesting way. I, I almost wonder if he like rolled right in and just did that. <laughs> yeah. Up if it would that. Yeah. But yeah, maybe hey, like, yeah. Um, I love the, uh, the addition of the bullet shells is like what sells this whole thing to, <laughs> to me. Uh, 
like I, I I actually like chuckle every time I see it because it's just like so funny how like chunky the bullets are and like Matt or Nick said the way that he like moves around without moving his lower body at all is just very very robot-y and he has such like a he's like a cool cool vibe but then he's it's actually kind of a silly motion uh, so there's like this contrast where he's like taking himself seriously it seems like but then the motions are kind of silly and comical in a way, which is a really fun contrast. Yeah, I agree. I do wish through, through this motion, there was like a vibration. Like I love everything about it. Like exactly as Nick and, and Skylar just said, but just a little bit of motion. It is so, so dead. Like even like a slightest shift to like, as he's spinning this way, maybe the pelvis is just a little scooted that way. Um, a tiny bit of, pixel buzz there I feel like would make it feel just a little a little less silly but not taking away from this like the general robot silliness of the motion to me um one other thing I was going to say and actually like maybe I don't want to call Rory out but he could probably speak to this better than me having done a lot of these is that the uh the camera is a little bit simple like it tracks the motion well it like does all the things fine um but it's very sort of straightforward um in a way that just feels like uh animation interpolated as opposed to like a real camera and i'm not i'll be honest i'm not quite sure what's missing from it because that's not my sort of area of expertise so maybe like someone who knows more about that could speak to kind of like what's off there because i mean like i said it tracks it well but there's maybe like some missing like overshoot a little bit to make it feel a little bit more natural or a little bit of texture to how it moves as opposed to just like the most straightforward ease in and ease out of it. Yeah, I, I agree. I think some of the things you could have done on here, some of the things we did on Wild Rift was maybe just track that a little bit. So your camera sort of like just moves a little bit with this, just adds a bit of energy to it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, what's that? You know, so as, as it comes into the shot, maybe we're still. And then as it as it starts to move around up here, we start to just move the camera just very, very slowly with it. And then it can come out here kind of as it already does. And I think on this bit, he could have got more like depth to it, maybe have this foot out here, then this back here. And then he could have also added like the Dutch angle, which is basically when we sort of angle the camera here. And that could have really helped frame the pose a little bit better. So it's when you do something sort of like this, and then you can have like the head around here, and then you can come around like that. And that's maybe a way he could have like added more emphasis onto this shot. Um, but overall, just my thoughts on this one is like, it's so awesome how we're in this world. He's got like this mist. It feels like the Blade Runner planet. It's like we're totally inside it. I think that this one, conveys just the whole mood and tone of one of the pieces the best it's just so like where i don't know where this planet is but it feels like we're on it with this mist and stuff like that i really agree with the feedback that you've already given um about this this doesn't feel too clear what he's doing here where he's just kind of wobbling maybe he could have sort of done this skid and you probably don't even need this beat he could have probably just gone straight up to this um or something that he could have done when he comes in here he could have Put more emphasis on the gun popping in like maybe the gun could have like transformed it in like right next to the camera here so like it draws your eye to oh he's got a gun now and then he could have started shooting feels like the gun just kind of come out of nowhere and it might have been nice to show like oh he's getting the gun out uh, instead of this part here i use the time to have like a gun forming instead of this part here um but overall i really really enjoy this piece yeah and i think what lana was saying as well just this is completely still and even when you're like, as everyone knows in animation, even when something's really still in 3D animation, you have to sort of drift it just a tiny bit to make it still feel alive. Even if it's a robot, just like a tiny, tiny little bit on that would have maybe helped. Or maybe just a very slight vibration as he's shooting each bullet, just to sort of, so it's not just planted exactly. And then one more thing, the legs hit exactly the same time on this landing. Maybe just sort of tone, pull one just back just a tiny bit so your contact isn't exactly the same on these frames here it kind of does it here as well maybe this one could have just been a little bit higher on this frame and then it goes down a frame after the back one just so you have that separation and i know it's a robot so it's hard to think in terms of a little bit organic movement but i feel that it's just one of these things that, that pops out it's like oh they hit exactly the same frame you know and even though it's a robot it can maybe separate it but overall i really like this one really awesome good job So the one thing I noticed about the camera is really that there's no ease in and ease out. It just kind of hits and then stops. Maybe like a two frame ease out. 
But for the most part, like the camera almost starts moving before the characters actually land it. Like it's still a ball and then it starts moving at the same time where I think the there's a world where this could have landed maybe slightly further back and then had like a couple frames to push up at the camera before the camera initiated its m movement. Um, stuff like this, even though it's like timed out, can end up feeling <laughs> very robotic. Um, because it's almost like there's not, you have to picture that there's like someone controlling that camera and saying, okay, go. And there's like sort of a room for error as if a, a, like it's a human person on a dolly being like, okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. And like wanting to keep things in frame uh, rather than being perfectly timed and robotic like this. Like he, like he could have maybe hit his settle and then the camera could have eased out a little bit after that. And it would have felt just a little bit more natural through that, that pull out there. Um, that would be the only thing I'd say about that. Um, do we have any final thoughts for Daniel Forsgren? No, shrugs all around. Well, can we get rats in the chat for Daniel Forsgren? Amazing, amazing work. I love Ball Boy. Um, even just the name Ball Boy. There's like, just power there, power Ball Boy. Um, also, no need to fade that out. Leave that yeah, why does it fade out? So that's like the last thing I'll say. This should just stay up there. Okay. Um, yeah, and also congratulations to not just our top 10, but everybody who submitted the over 230 entries. We watched every single one. We are so impressed that people would, would take the time in the month to make these submissions. It is fantastic. So much incredible work. So much incredible work.